Rosie Bird, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Today, we are still in this town, the very snowy town of whatever its name was. Last episode, we got here and we battled Melanie, who was the snow gym leader. That was our sixth badge, but now uh, Sonya ran into us. She said that she wanted to meet us at the restaurant that we checked out earlier. We've already gone through this entire town, so we'll just go to what we need to get to, which is right over here. Alrighty, so Sonya should be here. Oh, and so is Hop. Hey, you guys. Got that gym badge, Zebra? Nice one. Oh, hey, there you are. I've been trying to find out more about the darkest day in the Sword and Shield Pokemon, but still no luck. Oh, <laughs> there we go, there's, there's the tapestry. Wait, hold on. That seems like it's it to me. No way, what's this? A new chapter in the Galar Legends? A fifth tapestry, an absolutely fantastic poster. <laughs> Exactly, Bob with his brilliant smile must be part of the legend. Wait, what are you on about? Don't confuse me. <laughs> the legendary hero, Uncle Bob. Uh, the heroes look sad, and where are the where are the Sword of Shield? What was the meaning of this picture? Uh, the end of the legend? Yeah, that you can see them sort of on the gravestones. Hmm, perhaps when their duty was completed, they went into some kind of sleep? Could be. Based on those statues we saw back on Stone Side, the Sword and Shield were actually two Pokemon, right? That's right. Wait, were you even there, Hop? <laughs> I don't think he was. That's my take on it, at least. You remember the Pokemon we met that day? Do you think it could have been one of them? Either the Sword or the Shield Pokemon? You met them? Come on, you know what I'm talking about, right, Zebra? Uh, in the slumbering... Weald? I, I looked this up and apparently it's called Weald. Like I wasn't wrong, but then some people said it wasn't and I don't know what to think anymore. Exactly. Uh, the mad Pokemon we ran into in the fog. Don't you think that could have been it? Oh, that's right. You lot have been in the slumbering Weald. <laughs> I only started on this journey because my grand told me to, but this is turning out to be too much fun. You've got to tell me more. How about we discuss this over a meal? Go on, what do you want to eat? Let's get our orders in. He's just been ready and waiting for us to make our order finally. Okay, so I guess we'll be eating and chatting a little bit about this whole situation. Fascinating. All right, the next thing to do now that we're done eating is to have a look around Sir Chester. Let's inspect the hero's bath. So I've already explored all of this, but I guess I'm doing it all again. All right, so the hero's bath. Yep, that's over there. Hop is storming off ahead as he always does. Very peaceful, as per usual. The hero's bath. They say this is where the two heroes came to soothe their wounds after the battle to bring down that evil presence long ago. Nowadays, only Pokemon really use the hero's bath, though. Hmm, who exactly were the heroes that bathed here? I think I'll have to look into that. You two met a mysterious Pokemon back in the slumbering wield. Perhaps you two can become new heroes. That'd be cool. What, like some, some hero waving around a sword and shield? Pull the other one. Though, I guess I'd fancy a sword if I had to take my pick. What kind of battle do you think the heroes had the, had back then? Why don't we show our zebra? Think we can pull off a real heroic battle? <laughs> you just wanted to sneak that in there. Uh, give me a minute. I need to heal my Pokemon. All right, I get it. Prepare as much as you'd like, because I don't think we've been able to heal since battling the gym leader. Let's, let's just check. Uh, Pokemon. Oh no, we're all healed up. Okay, never mind. I'm coming back. I've changed my mind. Let's duke it out. Actually, can I talk to you first? What kind of battle do you think? Okay, she's just, it's the same thing. All right. Yep. Absolutely. Sony treated us to a great meal. After that, Curry, I feel like I've got the energy to wrestle a beware. I'll uh, be careful with that one. I don't entirely understand your reasoning, but I might just as well see what you can do. I'll heal up your Pokemon for you, Zebra. So give it your best. They were already healed, but thank you for healing them again. Time for a little exhibition match, starring the future champion. All righty, so me and Hop going at each other, challenged by Pokemon trainer Hop. And he's sending out Dubwool. Whoa, look at that, wow. Okay, so that's what uh, Wooloo evolves into. And we should be able to use um, fighting against you. I'm counting on you, partner. It's hailing again. Oh, that's gonna be super bad for Dot. So let's just go ahead and try to kick you away as soon as we can. Boom. But yeah, that looks cool. Double. Super cute. 
I like how it's so fluffy but so determined. Now that's a proper move. I guess so, but what do you have? You have Growl. All right. So let's try again. We should just be able to kick you down from here. You're getting hurt by the hail as well. Oh, you're using a hyper, oh, of course, of course. It's gonna heal you up all the way, isn't it? Yep, all the way, great. If we can land a critical, that'd be great, but I don't think we will. Actually, we did less damage now than we did last time. Did last time we land a critical? I guess so. Well, we're slowly getting there. You're doing, what are you doing now? Uh, was that Dot? Once again, they're all so worried. We need to camp in today's episode. We are going to camp for like 20 minutes, so we're not actually gonna do that. But I wanna camp for a long time and like play with everybody and see if that makes them happier because everybody's been so worried and upset recently, I don't understand why. Ouch, that hurt. Damaged by the recoil, oh, poor double. Well, there's that. Okay, and that is a level up for Jazzy, almost one for Shawnee, wild charge. That sounds like fun. It's an electric type move. Uh, the user shrouds itself in electricity and smashes into the target. This also damages the user a little. I feel like we should put that over Crunch. I really don't need Crunch. We have an entire dark type Pokemon, so uh, forget Crunch, learn wild charge. Okay, so we'll get hurt by the hail a little bit more. Pinchurchin. Um, I I know that's that's probably the the evolution of Pinchio, but I don't really know what type they were. So we're just gonna do Jazzy. How's that sound? Maybe we'll try this new move. So Jazzy's coming out, and we're going against Pinchur Pin yeah Pinchurin. No, that's stuff. Is that? I don't know. That looks a lot different. <laughs> okay, let's just try Spark. Huh, very interesting little Pokemon. So yeah, that, that can't be, no, Minchino is what it was. But that's definitely something different then, because that looked way different than this. Uh, what, did the spark not work? Or did it? I was too busy thinking about Minchino. Yeah, you didn't take any damage. You must also be an electric type then. So we're going to switch Pokemon again, and I don't know who to move to. I guess we could just move to like something different, just anything really. Um, let's move the Smokey, sure. Because we're still quite a few levels higher than his Pokemon so far. Because uh, this Pinchurn is, oh, you're using Curse? You're gonna put a Curse on Smokey? That's rude. Speed fell and, well, no, this is something different. Attack Rose and the Defense Rose. Okay, that's something a little bit different than what I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, we're already five levels above just with Smokey. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do um, Toxic. And then we'll do uh, the Veno thing. The Veno Strike, I think. I always get the name mixed up, but you know what I mean. Badly poisoned, they're gonna use Curse again. They're raising their stats a lot, but we'll have to, Veno Shock, that's what it is. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see how Veno Shock does. Ow, there goes the Hail again. There we go, there's the Poison. So now we're gonna hit with the double, double damage. No, 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 that's not what I meant to do, darn it! Ah, oh, they're already poisoned, gosh darn. You would think it would just give me a second to go, hey, are you sure? No, now I look really silly. Now their stats are getting even higher. They're really gonna hurt when they hit me. But at least their health will get a little bit lower because of both the hail and the poison. Yep. There we go. So fight, and this time for real, Veno Shock. Come on, Smokey, knock him out. Oh, nice, I was really getting worried there because I don't know what he was wrapping up to, but his stats were getting really high. And that is a level up for Shawnee, which is great. And we got buffeted by the hail again. What are you going to send out next? Snorlax, okay, so we're gonna switch back to Dot, I think. I think that might be the best idea. Because Snorlax should be a normal type. I don't know if the double kick is gonna do very well, but I wanna start with the pyro ball. And then we'll work from there. Uh, fight, pyro ball. Oh, come on, how did he avoid it? How would you be able to miss a Snorlax? Oh my gosh, and now we're paralyzed. That is not good. Your Snorlax is really tough to deal with, I just want you to know. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Fight, pyro ball again. 
Bad luck right now, real bad luck. Don't do body slam again. Oh, you stinker. Oh, one health, but she toughed it out so we didn't feel sad, thank you. No, come on, why? Ah, oh, that really stinks, we just got really bad luck. Okay, um, Shawnee, sure, why not? Oh my gosh. Cause I'm pretty sure Snorlax is an ultimate. Maybe I should just double check. Um, cause we haven't caught a Snorlax. He's 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 normal type. Yeah, so he should be weak to fighting, but he doesn't really take too much damage from it. Um, well, I guess because Dot isn't a fighting type, she's just a fire type with a fighting move. Oh, okay, not too bad. So, let's fight again. Do the Steel Wing. Almost there. Come on, your Snorlax is going down. Maybe we should try a different move now. Okay, he's getting a bit more beat up. Uh, let's just try a Pluck, it should be good enough. It'll be just as effective as any of the Steel moves. Okay, so Snorlax is down. And, we're buffeted by the hell again. Rillaboom, I forget what, oh no, 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 that is the, uh, and I can't, dang, okay. Um. For right now, we'll keep with this, but we should do the revive at some point. I mean, is flying good against grass? I actually don't know. Um, hmm. I, I don't have it up right now. Okay, so, actually, yeah, this stuff is super effective. Okay, so let's just do drill pack. You got it, Shawnee, but first, brick break, ow. Was that super effective? No, it was not. Oh, nice. Okay, see, that's what I'm talking about. They'll get hurt by the hail, so will we. We're both getting pretty low on health right now. This is your second to last Pokemon. So they're doing Brick Break again, and we should just do Pluck here, and that should be enough to get rid of you. Excellent. So you have one more Pokemon left. What is it gonna be? First off, level 49 for Biggie. Uh, level 45 for Smokey. And we get hurt a little bit more. Corviknight. Oh, we were a Corviknight, what do you know? Okay, so we'll switch to Jazzy then. It's our best bet. Because Flying Steel is like super weak to Electric then. Because both Steel and Flying are both weak to Electric. On their own. We should do that super move. Think you've got me, Quarter? Not even close. It'll be the greatest when I steal this win back. I don't see how that's gonna happen. Okay. Too nervous to eat berries, huh? We'll be fine. So let's try Wild Charge. We haven't tried this move yet. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that is a one hit takedown. Even if it hurts Jazzy a little bit, that's fine with me. Well, I hope it's fine with Jazzy as well. I'm sorry, Jazzy. But there we go. I still can't even beat you, my true rival, but I think I'm starting to see the light. All right, well, hopefully you get there soon. I'm rooting for you, even when you're against me. Thanks, you two gave a right proper battle at the rate you you both were going. Even the unbeatable Leon may be in trouble. So what's next, you two? I plan to look into things in Slumbering Weald. I'm gonna keep challenging that gym. Then, once I get the gym badge, I'll be heading, heading to Route 9 uh, to take on Spike Myth next. Well, we're doing the same thing right now. Seems like he finally shook off that gloom. Leon worried if Hop wasn't feeling all right. As his rival, you wouldn't like it either, right? See ya. All right, goodbye. Thanks for the help. So it looks like we're making some progress figuring out this weird sword and shield mystery, and on top of that, uh, we're getting stronger with our team along the way. So before we head out of uh, Sir, Sir Chest, Sir Chest, something like that, we're gonna heal up our Pokemon one more time, make sure they're nice and revived, and yeah, we should just be good to go. I don't have too much more I need to do camping I wanna do, but I don't think I can do that in a town. I think I have to do that in like a uh, like a route. So we'll check that in a moment. And I'll just camp and have fun with everybody and see if that does anything and lifts their spirits a little bit because everybody just seems to be tired out and I feel bad. So let's try from here. Can we camp? We can camp, just in the middle of town. All right. I mean, it looks like we're technically out. All right, hey everybody, come on over. That's it, let's just talk to everybody. Spend some time, quality time. Hi. Hi, Shawnee. Shawnee looks like she wants to play with the Poke Toy. Uh, let's chat. Shawnee looks like wants to play more. Okay, go play. Uh, 
Here, I got a toy for you, right here. Don't you want the toy? Seems sweet, you can't just tell them to stay here so that we can play together. You want it? Here you go. There you go. I mean, they put little music notes next to them as if they like that, so I can only imagine that they do. Yep, oh, okay, over here, over here. Good job, good job. So let's uh, try the other toy now. Go get it. But everybody else, come over here. Biggie, Tom, you guys too. All right, so somebody already has the ball, but we can shake this at you a little bit. There you go. Can I talk to you a little bit too? Uh, Biggie's eager to play. Will you say anything more? Looks like he wants to play more. With you forever. Aw, thank you. Doesn't seem to be interested in Shawnee very much. It's just like real life. Uh, more attention. Like you a lot. Uh, later. Okay, so what I want to do then is take out the toy. Again. Oh, I got to take this from Smokey. Good job, Smokey. Good job. And everybody else, go ahead and grab that. There we go. Hopefully one of you got get it. But also call Dot over, oh, Jazzy got it. Good job, Jazzy. Dot looks like he's enjoying camping. Play more, okay. With you forever. Curious about Smokey. That's the opposite of real life. Okay. Biggie mysterious, Biggie is mysterious. Hello. There you go. <laughs> So who else have we not talked to? We have not done much with Tom. Oh, good job, Jazzy. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, hold on. Ready, throw it real far that way. And then call Tom over. Here he comes, one step at a time. Okay, hi guys. Enjoying camping, full of energy, forever. A lot of the same stuff, but I'm glad. Oh, good job, Dot. There we go. Tom looks like it wants to play with a bouncy ball. Okay. Not interested in Jazzy. Also, very realistic. Okay, so, toy, there we go. There we go, go play with the bouncy ball, Tom. You got it. No, somebody's gonna steal it from you. I'm so sorry. Actually, Dot is just running all over the place, and she still got it. Poor Tom, I love how she kicks it around like a soccer player. There we go, come on Tom, you got it. Oh, he's given up, poor guy. Uh, so yeah, now that we've all done that, and we've talked to everybody, we've played with him a little bit, let's go ahead and start cooking. Maybe we can make everybody some food. Uh, we'll do package curry. One of the many ingredients that can be used in cooking at your camp using package curry helps make sure there are no slip ups from cooking. So basically you just get to cut the corners. Uh, I only use some berries, we're running low on berries actually. So we'll just put all that we have in there. Can we? Buy berries? I don't think so. We can exchange watch for them, can't we? Something like that. Anyways, instant curry. Let's cook it. So this is the same as usual, but I'm hoping that you know just having this rest will make everybody happy. But I have no clue. Okay. This fire still has a while to go. When I'm all on my own like this, it's, it's much more challenging when there, and instead of when, when there's four people in total. There we go. I'm trying to do it with the motion controls. It doesn't really work very well. Anyways, we'll just do this much faster. Okay. Almost there, come on. Yeah, perfect. Ready, and... Hopefully that was good. So, done, and everybody's coming in to eat. So I can only hope that means it was good. Sweet decorative curry, oh, look at this, a Pikachu and Eevee. Oh, that's so cute. What do you think of it, Dot? Mmm, very tasty. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay, so Milsery class, decorative curry, and hopefully everybody is happier. Everybody's playing, so that's a good sign. Uh, let's let's go ahead and take it down. We all finish up with that. Everybody enjoyed camping and gained experience. Decent experience for sure. And yeah, with that, hopefully we can head out of here without any worries. We can just leave and oh, sit on a bench. <laughs> we can just leave and um, what is it? Um, 
just go to Route 9, I think it is? Yeah, we were already on Route 8. So where does that leave off to? I think down here. Oh, did I, did I talk to you two? Muscles, no cold is too cold if you have powerful muscles to keep you warm. You're in trouble if your Pokemon get frozen during a battle and won't be able to move. Yeah, we haven't run into that in this game yet. <clears throat> but here we are on Route 9. Cool. And this, oh, it's a big bridge over some probably icy cold water we can fish in here too. Okay, so let's try fishing a little bit and see what we get. Hopefully a new, I'd, I'd imagine something new. We'll have to wait and see. Whoa, what is this? Oh, you are so cute, it's a Pukamuku. Adorable. So let's try catching you if we can. Dot wants to be petted, but I don't understand. Why are they so sad? We just, we camped with them. We had a good time. That doesn't do much. It's not very effective. Gastro acid. Oh, yuck. So maybe I just don't camp often enough. Like maybe that's a problem. Maybe it's because I haven't turned the game off in a while. I just pause in between recordings. I don't know, I'm just trying to think of like the different things that can make the Pokemon tired and upset. I know it's not very effective, but it will get you lower on health, which is all I really want. Okay, it failed. We got hurt by the hail a little bit. There we go. Okay, they keep on trying the Gastro Acid. It isn't working for them. So we gotta be careful of the hail now, which is why it's good to stop here. And I have quite a few like uh, great balls as well. So we'll try some great balls. I also have ultra balls, but I'm gonna hold on to those for later. Come on. This should be good, I, I think. Boom, our first new Pokemon of the day, Pukumuku. Am I pronouncing it correctly? Who knows? But you know what? I'm fine with how it's pronounced or how I'm pronouncing it. I enjoy that name. Uh, so yeah, Pukumuku added to the Pokedex. I didn't mean to, oh gosh, oh well. <laughs> All right, so we'll send you to a box just like that. And we're good to move on to the next patch. Actually, there is a trainer over this way. Uh, we'll just try going against you. Meeting a trainer can only mean battle. What a simple concept. <laughs> okay. So Fisher Harriet. Barascuda. Oh, uh, you know what, we've, we've, we've gone against this before. So this is a water type, so we do want to switch out a dot, I think. It's hailing, yep, I know. Uh, so let's switch Pokemon real quick. We'll switch over to Jazzy. He's gonna be the best equipped to take on the Barracuda. I mean, I think we had like, there was a different Barracuda type Pokemon and it probably evolves in this because I don't remember the propeller tail, really. But it will stay next to their name, won't it? Um, or their health bar. Okay, well they're doing some water stuff. Yeah, I don't have this one. So I might as well just do charge for right now because I can't attack them normally anyways. So you know what, might as well take advantage of that. So we're charging up our power, special defense rows. Oh, that hurts quite a lot. Even though it's not supposed to be. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's how that works actually. Because electric is super effective against water, but water is not, not effective against electric. It's just normal. Anyways, we'll just do spark. That should be enough to take you out in one hit, I'd imagine. Yes, it is. So there's a bear scooter taken down. And a level up for Jazzy, I'm so proud. He's closing on level 50. Wow. Lantern. I don't know what Lantern's like, but let's imagine it's an ice type and pull out Dot. Okay, so with Dot, what do we wanna do here? Oh, not what I was expecting. I was thinking like a Lantern, like a light. Well, we'll do Pyro Ball for now because you know we're stuck out here anyways with Dot. Might as well just do as much damage as we possibly can that wasn't too bad, actually. I know, I know it was a very effective discharge. Oh, so are you an electric water type? One of those, not good. You know what, we're just gonna do the fighting type double kick because it, it'll do enough damage to get rid of this, I think. So that'll be good. Boom, yeah, it will. Okay, finishes you off, that's nice to see. So lantern, that's a new one. 
And, oh, a level up for me, or not for me, for Dot. I don't get a level up. Be cool if the trainers had a level. For Dot, Shawnee, and Tom. Cool. And we defeated Fisher Harriet. The stronger one always wins. How simple. You seem so disappointed, I'm sorry. The, see the image and cast your line. It's simple. That means it's profound. I suppose so. Anyways, I think Dodd's out in front right now. We need to change that just for right now. And for the healing, I would like to just use normal potions as I discussed in the last episode. This is more cost efficient. There we go. And that should be good. So let's take a look at this one right here. See if we can't find anything new. Because we got Pukamooka last time. Who knows what could be waiting in this one. Oh, whoa, it's something new. Whoa, Octillery. I'm pretty sure you're like an earlier on Pokemon. You can almost always tell by like sort of the design of them if they were in like the first like two or three games or not. Let's try Nuzzle. There we go and that paralyzed them. So I wanna do that one more time. They're doing lock on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are they robotic? Okay, so we both get hit by hail, and then I'm going to try to paralyze you, not paralyze, but just nuzzle you one more time. Um, and that should get you into the yellow for sure. Nice, okay. Bullet seed, whoa. I haven't seen that one before. I'm here, you're gonna keep going. Again, oh my gosh, this is actually quite damaging. Okay, so both get hit by the hail again. That's where this gets a little bit scary, but let's go ahead and throw out a great ball. And how does this go? It goes great, all right, we got Octillery, two Pokemon for today. So I don't want to skip the info for this one. Gotta be very careful of that. But of course, Octillery will be added to the Pokedex. It is a water type jet Pokemon. It traps enemies with its suction cupped tentacles, then smashes them with its rock hard head. Oh my gosh, quite a combo. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. It's in the box, there we go. So. With that done, it looks like that's all the water spots cleared up for now. We can keep moving down, Route 9. Oh, look at you! You're a, uh, a pelican, a wild pelipper. Cool. So we'll try nuzzling you first, just like we did with that one. Because we have an eight level lead on this one, so we don't want to do too much damage at first. Got it? Oh, nice. We don't want to do that twice. Because that would totally knock it out. They're doing spit up, ew. But it failed, okay, that's good, I don't wanna see that. So now the hail will sort of do the rest of the work for us, I can only hope. Because I think it might be like a flying ice or a flying water. Let's just do Great Ball for now. I wonder if that's the evolution of Wingull, which is a like a seagull type Pokemon. Nice. Okay, so Pelipper was caught. And... Yeah, some decent experience there. So, as you can see, Pelipper Seda will be added to the Pokedex. Water bird Pokemon, a water flying, so not ice flying. Uh, skimming the water surface, it dips its large bill in the sea, scoops up food and water, and carries it. Very cool, just like Pelicans. I like how its, it's beak, though, is like 85% of its body. So there's that one done. Oh, wow, what in the world are you? Whoa, whoa, what was that to the left? I gotta go get that one. This is Jellicent. <laughs> I like that. Oh, he's like a little king. He's got a little crown. That's super cute. So I don't know if this is gonna work, but we will try just nuzzling. I mean, you might be water type. Yeah, okay, it's super effective, so I suppose you are. Jellicent is paralyzed, very nice. Hydro pump. Oh, that's not gonna feel so good. Oh no, Jazzy, wow, wowee! My gosh, I was not expecting that much damage. That was crazy. 
Okay, use next Pokemon. Let's go ahead and use somebody like uh, Biggie. Sure. Because I only need to do like one more damage or one more effect that or move that does damage. Um, let's see what we got. I might just want to do Night Slash. I'm hoping that won't be too much. Oh, we'll have to see. Night Slash. I don't think it would take you up. You never know. Ah, oh, that stinks. It's just you never really know. And it's such a bummer. All right, well, we'll get experience for that at the least. Level 50 for Biggie. He's the first one that reaches the big 5 0. Awesome. Wasn't expecting that. That was going to be jazzy. Okay, so let's quickly, first off. Oh, have we gone that thing to the left? I think maybe. Um, or maybe like a different regional equivalent of it. Uh, we're going to do a revive on Jazzy. And then switch back over and use the potions to heal him all the way up. And one more time. There we go. So let's just go over and try to take you on because I'm pretty sure we've seen you before at the least, a Gastrodon. But I'm pretty sure it was like a different region's Gastrodon. See, now he doesn't seem as upset. He just is waiting our directions, which is better than like dreaming of camping or wants a pet right now. Because those are things that like I feel like, they, you know, they're a little upset. Earth power, oh no. Oh no, Jazzy, I'm so sorry. Okay, this is not what I was expecting from you. Um, We're going to switch Pokemon. Thank you for awaiting my directions. I'm so sorry for putting you in this situation. Switch to Tom. And with all this, hopefully we can do something. Body slam. That didn't do too much. We're good, we're good. Okay, but we're paralyzed. I don't like body slam. It's a move that's not easy to deal with. So you have to be a ground type then. But I don't know how, how much damage this is gonna do. We'll, we'll do water gun. Body slam again. I don't even think once is enough. Oh, this guy's not very effective. That didn't do really much at all. So we could try the rock throw, but I'm pretty sure that's not effective. Rock tomb. Uh, again with the body slam. Not very effective. That's at least more damaging. Even if it's not very effective, I feel like it did more damage. And their speed fell. So like there's some good things happening there. I'm probably gonna throw that out one more time and try catching you with an ultra ball. Just to you know cut this a little short because it's getting painful. Rock tomb again. That's it. Okay, you're in a good spot for that. Muddy water. Oh no. Oh my gosh, wow, wow. Okay. So, you're buffeted by the hell as well. We're getting really beat up here. Our poor team. Where's the Ultra Balls? Here we go, we have so many different kinds of Pokeballs, it's crazy. Let's try this out. You would think it would go really immediately just out of there. What do we want to do about that? I don't know. I'm so sorry, Tom. This I want to have to go back to the town and heal up again. This is ridiculous. Really tough Pokemon. Okay, try again. Use next Pokemon, whatever it might be. If that's smoky, then that's great. Okay. All I want to do is catch you. Whoa, you wiggled in the air. I don't know if I've seen that before. I mean, maybe, ah. It says it was close too, but I don't know, it didn't even really do much. Okay, that doesn't do too much damage. Oh man. Why is this so tough? You're so low on health now. Come on. Okay, you didn't immediately pop out this time. That's good. Come on. Yes. There we go, Gastrodon was caught. That was a very difficult thing to do. Almost cost us, like what? It knocked out one Pokemon, almost knocked out two. Level 46 for Smokey. Actually, I almost knocked out three. Because Jazzy got very close to getting knocked out. So Gastrodon is a water ground type, something very hard to go against. A sea slug Pokemon from the East Sea. Its body is covered in a sticky slime. It's very susceptible to dehydration, so it can't spend too much time on land. 
Okay, so there is that out of the way. Send that to a box, and then let's grab this Pokeball. I might use a flying taxi to go home. Oh, I'm so tempted to try to get you again. A spray type medicine for treating wounds. It can be used to completely restore the max HP of a single Pokemon. It's a max potion, so yeah, that's cool. What I'll do then is really quickly use a super potion on you just to get you up a little bit more. And one more time. There we go, max health. Let's battle you and then we gotta go back just to heal everybody else because I can't use all those potions all the time. I'm gonna need more later on anyways. And of course it's healing. So let's fight and start nuzzling you right away because we already know now like what's effective, what's not. So we can try the nuzzling and it didn't do as much damage this time as it did before for one reason or another. Oh yeah, you used Hydro Pump before, and that like destroyed us. Okay, so I'm a little worried about doing it, but I could, I could try doing Shock now. And see, like I don't know if it would take you out all the way. I'm hoping it would do just enough so it doesn't. Nope, oh yeah, yeah, okay, perfect, perfect. Now the problem, oh, Spark was disabled. The problem now though, is if we get buffed by Hail, it might take him out. Oh no, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Dang, come on, that is just, I feel like I get worse luck with this game than I have any other Pokemon game, it's wild. There's level 50 for Jazzy though. So before we do anything, uh, what in the world are you? You're like, the same but different. It's Jillison again, but different. I guess this is like the female version. Okay, let's try this one. And tailing. Okay, so this time only nuzzling. Okay. That did much better this time. It, it, she is one level lower than the other Jellison. But you're gonna heal, that's fine. You're still paralyzed technically. Even if you healed all the way back up, oh my gosh. So will it tell me what things are super effective and not super affected? Because you're sort of a different version? No, it still says super effective. Okay, so nuzzle again. And I guess I'll try that one more time. They're paralyzed, great. That's what I wanna see, is that happen a bit more often. And I could just try to catch you now. Okay, Ultra Ball it is. Let's see if I can't catch you. I really hope so. No, come on. Oh, it's so tough. Shadow Ball, for a second I thought they were gonna try to catch our Pokemon. Wow. This is really, really not good. And at this point, if I use it again, or if I use Nuzzle again, it just, it's not gonna go well. What happened? It just take, took a second to load the Ultra Ball, I guess. Come on, please. Don't fight me on this one. Yes, okay, so at least we've gotten one Jellicent. There's a different kind. Hopefully we can run into that at some point. Nice, okay. So as you can see, Jellicent State will be added to the Pokedex. This is a floating Pokemon. Seven foot three inches, wowee. Uh, whenever a full moon hangs in the night sky, schools of Jellicent gather near the surface of the sea, waiting for their prey to appear. Um, I'm not going to give you a nickname. I'm gonna send you to a box. So we technically could still get the male version of that. I might at some point, but for right now, before more distractions pop up, I'm going to go back to town, heal up everybody, and then I'm gonna run back out here. So yep, flying taxi it is. Okay, so we're back and there's a trainer. Oh, it's a dancer lady. We haven't, I don't know if we've battled one of the dancers. We've, we've talked to them before, but I don't know if we've battled one. My Pokemon are all pumped up for dancing with me. Are you ready for us? I hope so. Maybe once before we've, we've battled a dancer. Dancer Zoe. Darumaka. Ah, oh, you are adorable. We saw one of you in town. Well then, I don't know if I have the right typing for you, but it's hailing. So we don't have to worry about um, catching you. I'm still in like the catching mind, so I was like, oh, maybe I'll just nuzzle their health down. That doesn't have to happen here. So a critical hit, good job, Jazzy. All right, good stuff. Next up, after we get all that experience, buffeted by the hail, surprise, surprise. Wait, what were you sending out, something with a B? Ah, oh, I wish it would tell me. Whatever it is, let's see if, uh, you know what? 
you let's see if Shawnee can handle it. Because if it's likely an ice type way out here, then this would be good, right? Blossom, oh, that's what I said. Well, that's fine because flying is good against grass. Shawnee's pressure makes it so they won't eat any berries. Fight, and let's do drill pack. Very nice. Okay, so one hit takedown with that. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, and almost a level up for Shawnee. And Dancer's always defeated. Wow, you and your Pokemon make a combo that throws out moves like an elegant dance. Thanks. Thank you for the money as well. <laughs> I want my Pokemon to learn some moves that are like dancing. Sounds good. Okay, so what else is going on around, along this route? We're still on Route 9. Sir Chester Bay. Can I go out onto the ice? I can't. We're ruining our shoes by doing that. Oh, it's Team Yell and a doctor. There's no way we're letting you anywhere near Spike Myth, and that means we can't let you go on to Route 9. It's Team Yell's duty to cheer on these lovely Dreadnaw. And we also get to stop people from heading out over the water. Bye bite <laughs> Yes, I understand. All I'm saying is that I can make it so that Rotom bikes right on the water. Oh, I would like to use that. Why we meet again, my young gym challenger friend. Remember me, I gave you that bike. So, do you think you could do me a another favor and teach these ruffians a lesson or two? I would love to, especially if I can get a, a swimming bike. It's our duty to protect Dreadnought, and that means you're gonna need to give up on the gym challenge. The, you look like you need convincing, so how about a Pokemon battle? Yeah. I'll send you packing for the sake of Dreadnought, of course. All right, we'll see about that. Going against, uh, oh, was that the lady talking the whole time? Team L Grunt, we'll try it. Lanoon, okay. Yeah, we've gone against Lanoon before. A lot of them seem to have Lanoon. Oh, I like this area. Very interesting. It's always hailing around here. Okay, so all this is just normally effective. I could try this, it might be a bit risky, but we're gonna try Wild Charge. Boom. See ya, excellent. So they're down. That's gonna hurt us a little bit. But I sort of wanted to get rid of them just right away. And that's gonna be level 48 for Shawnee. Very good. Buffeted by the hail. But, Pangoro. I wonder if that's an evolution of the Panda type Pokemon. If so, maybe this would be good. Maybe it wouldn't be. We'll find out. Cause I don't know what typing the Panda Pokemon is. I can't remember. There's too many Pokemon, what do you know? Pangoro, I was right, all right. Look at you, you're huge. You are ready to go, well, I'm ready to go too. Let's try Pyro Ball. Boom, see ya. At this point, like, it's not even a typing advantage, it's just we have such a higher level than they do that we're able to handle that. All right, so it looks like our training has sort of paid off a little bit. <sighs> I wanna go back to Splankmuth, I really do. Well, that's where I'm going. So, maybe you could join us. God, he's gonna ride the Dreadnaw. I actually had no plans on doing that. You're assuming things. Oi, I've got an idea. We can get on, on Dreadnaw first and ride it away. <laughs> All right, get a move on Dreadnaw. See you later, Jim Challenger. Bye bye Don't know if that's gonna work out so well for you. He's listening. Poor Dreadnaw. Seems you've come to my aid yet again. How's the cycling life been treating you? Are you having fun? Wouldn't it be great if you could ride your Rotom bike on the water, too? That's why I'm going to add these special parts allowing it to travel along the water's surface, just for you. Well, thank you very much, that's the Rotom bike. Rotom bike with the thing. Uh, the bike can be combined with a Pokemon Rotom to not only do a turbo boost, but also run on the water. All right, all right, with the Rotom bike water mode, you'll cruise across the water like a Pokemon with swift swim. By the way, when you're riding on land, we'll call it land mode. Sure. Uh, yeah, okay, you don't have anything else new to say. So let's try this out. Just go on the bike, and we just go right over the water. Wow! Okay, wait a minute, hold on. There's a different way to exit through the shore over there, and there's a whole host of Pokemon to find around here, too, so that'll be great. So let's start with this first. What do we got? Zoom Lens. An item to be held by a Pokemon. If the holder moves after its target moves, its accuracy will be boosted. Huh. Okay. Let's go over this way. 
Oh, I definitely want to try to catch some of these. Whoa, look at you! See, now we can get Pokemon in the water. This is a Whalmer. Obviously, it's supposed to be like a whale. So cool. So Jazzy's back out. We'll have to do the nuzzling. Um. Yep, let's try nuzzle. Not bad at all. So it's already paralyzed and it's on like one third of health. So this is our chance. Ouch. So, waiting my directions, don't fight again. Instead, Ultra Ball and see how this goes. Quite a big Pokemon, the stuff in this tiny little ball, but hopefully it goes well. Come on. Yes, another Pokemon, Whelmer. Now we have just tons to get. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Level 49 for Dot, level 51 for Jazzy. Crazy how far ahead some of the Pokemon have gotten ahead of Dot. I guess it just depends on who I need to use the most. Uh, so Whelmer's dated to the Pokedex, six foot seven. Uh, when it sucks in a large volume of seawater, it becomes like a big bouncy ball. It eats a ton of food daily. Alrighty then. I'm not gonna give you a nickname, but I'm so glad to have you in our box. Okay, so let's see if we can. I know there's some Pokemon around here that'll hop out of the water, like you, but it's sort of hard to get you. <laughs> I don't know if I can. What is this? Whoa, what is this? Look at you, you're furious. <laughs> Graplocked, you are so cool. Oh, I love you. We gotta get you for sure. He is awesome. I love all of his colors and his stance and everything. He's just got so much personality. That's my favorite thing. When the Pokemon, uh, I'm burping, I'm sorry. When the Pokemon have a lot of personality. Ow, that is some painful personality you got there, buddy. My stuff didn't do very much. Um, I'm so sorry, Jazzy. I don't really know what type he is. Maybe he's like fighting. I thought he was gonna be at least water type, but it didn't seem like it. I mean, he's level 50. Some of our, like he was, that was Jazzy was our highest level. So let's just try Biggie. Maybe this will turn out well. Hmm. Let's try Night Slash and see how much damage it does. Come on. A decent amount, enough to get going. It's not very effective. They're gonna use Reversal, this might hurt. Oh, okay. It's super effective, buffeted by the hail. This might not be what we're looking for then. Um, you must be fighting type. If that's the case, we should really switch to Shawnee if things go worse here. Let's just try Night Slash again and hope it won't be too much damage. I don't think it will. Yes, okay, that's perfect amount right there. Um, Turpsy, Topsy Turvy, but it failed. We both get hurt by hail. This is where we gotta go in with the uh, with the Pokeball. Ultra Ball, get it out there and hope we can get this guy. Come on. He's level 50. This is literally the highest level of Pokemon we can catch right now. Yes, and we got him. Grab locked was caught. Awesome. So I wanna know more about this guy for sure. We get level 51 for uh, Biggie there. So as you can see, Graplock data will be added to the Pokedex. He is a fighting type, I was right then. Jujitsu Pokemon, searching for an opponent to test its skills against, it emerges onto land. Once the battle is over, it returns to the sea. Nope, I would like to not give it a nickname. What a cool Pokemon though. If I had to like make a whole new team, that would be a, a big candidate for being added to it. Uh, so I just wanna really quickly, at the least, revive Jazzy. A couple of max three vibes, but I gotta save those for uh, tougher situations, which I'm sure will arise sooner or later. Okay, so there's that done. What else is going on around here? I'm trying to see if there's any land to reach or just any other Pokemon to contact. More Welders or Weldens or whatever. So maybe this is the way I'm supposed to go. I should go back to the right. There's a max revive. I was just talking about those. Um. Yeah, let's let's go back real quick. I didn't really see what was to the right over here. I think this actually might be something more. Oh, is there an item? There is a big pearl, a rather large pearl that has a very nice silvery sheen. We saw it at a price for, or a shop for a high price. Another item over this way. An ice stone, a peculiar stone that can make certain species of Pokemon evolve. It has an unmistakable snowflake pattern. Okay. Now this is like its own like dedicated path. I have really no idea which way I'm supposed to be going. Um. 
because I think this is the right direction. That's so weird. Um, can I battle you from here? I can't just awkwardly on our water bike. Whether it's fishing or Pokemon battles, type matchups are important. Okay. Challenged by Fisher Marina. It's not Quillfish. Oh wow, look at you. So with Jazzy, we're just gonna go at it as hard as we can. It's hailing. And let's try this. Boom. Yes, that's what we're gonna see. Quillfish is down. Ah, oh, but we're poisoned now, that's not good. Okay, what do you got next? Get some experience for that. Not quite a level up, but, oh boy. And the poison on top of that. Jazzy's just not having a good day. Pukamuku. We should know, but I forget. Um, I think it's part ice, so let's use fire. I might be wrong with this, but we can at least try Pyro Ball. <laughs> That'll at least be good. Okay. So, yeah, it's not very effective. Okay, I got it mixed up. But we'll at least try this. Oh, this is not doing much. Sort of a bit of a situation. Harden, whoa. This might be our only chance to try Pyro Ball. Even if it's not very effective, it can still do a lot of damage. But I probably would be better off switching Pokemon soon. Avoided the attack, okay. Now, then it's time, it's time to switch again. Because I think you're Water Ice. If that's the case, I guess like flying would probably be the best bet. Or no, ice ice is good against flying, right? Yeah, okay, I don't get that mixed up. Um, see, now it's telling me, it didn't give me this option. When the Pokemon are being thrown back out, you don't get this option. You see on the right of the moves, it tells you what is super effective, what isn't. It doesn't normally tell me that, it's weird. Anyways, we'll, we'll stick with Jazzy then. Should've done this from the beginning. Okay. All right, by the hail again. But okay, if we can attack first now, that'd be great. Because it will be super effective, I can really take a big advantage from that. Come on. Oh, but still not enough to get rid of you. Like, come on, we're so close. They, they were paralyzed, they're very fortunate. Because we're very close to getting destroyed by the poison. Boy, didn't get damaged by poison that time. Oh, really, you expelled your wounds? I really appreciate that, Jazzy, you're the best. Okay, so, we're using Spark again, getting rid of this guy, he's gone, he's out of here. Critical hit too, I wish I had that critical hit before. Oh, Jazzy was hurt, but not enough to take him out. So that will be level 46 for Tom. And we defeated Fisher Marina, cool. Uh, losing with a spiky Pokemon makes my heart feel prickly. Poor thing. That's not what I wanted for you. Uh, so, no matter how good you are at fishing, if you try to fish where there are no Pokemon, you won't find anything, that's true. All right, so one thing I wanna do now, First, switch Jazzy over. Can I restore you real quick? Yep, just like this. Uh, we'll just, oh, I'll, I'll do a super potion this time. I have more of these than the normal potion, so. There we go. And on top of that, same thing for Biggie. If I could, just uh, restore super potion. That has a much better, so. I think I wanna swap Dot with Jazzy for right now, because I do see like a, a Pokemon I wanna try to catch over here. What does this say? Spike Muff. And like maybe this is where we would've come, on, come in from the other side. I'll have to look around and make extra sure. But for right now, what are you? Oh, you're so adorable, that's what you are. You're the Clubopus. Oh yeah, we read about you. Like somebody was talking about a Clubopus, and now we know what a Clubopus looks like. You are so stinking cute. Let's try the double kick. It does enough. Okay, hit two times. You want to use submission. You must be a fighting type. Ah. Uh, damaged by the recoil. We're both buffeted by hell, so this might actually just be good enough to go for. That seems like it wants to be petted. 
I would love the Petya Dot. I just, I don't understand the situation though. Maybe we just need to specifically interact with her when camping. I mean, there was a camp over there. We'll go for that at some point. But for right now, Klobopis was caught. That is, I caught Klobopis. And we're getting close to level 47 for Smokey, so that'll be great. But in the meantime, the Pokedex is gonna tell us about Klobopis, a tantrum Pokemon, as if it couldn't get any more cute. It's a fighting type, its tentacles tear off easily, Oh, but it isn't alarmed when that happens. It knows they'll grow back. It's about as smart as a three-year-old. Oh, I love you so much. So I'm guessing you evolve into that one Pokemon we caught before. Absolutely amazing. Send to a box. There we go. Oh, more of these guys. Actually, these guys are evolutions of what we fought before, which was just a water type, right? So Jazzy should be fine against it, but I don't have Jazzy. No, you're not an evolution, you're the same. You just looked really weird from a top-down perspective. It looked like you had like a longer nose and a thinner head, so I figured that maybe was an evolution of it, but no, we've already gotten you. Then I am running. Got away safely. Okay, so let's start figuring this out a little bit. Because I'm on this side of this little island. We could go down this way, and there is more. The problem with this is it's just so open, it gets a little confusing on where can I go, what can I do. So first, let's talk to you. You found Stefan's Pokemon camp. Well, let's talk to Stefan first. Rumor has it that there's a camping king somewhere in the wild area. Have you seen him? He changes the color of your tent and rates your curry decks. Oh, if you're cold and tired, feel free to stay at my camp. I would love to. So let's uh, camp with Stefan. And wow, oh, you got some cool Pokemon. Oh, look at the baby Lucario. That's cute. But also, let's interact with Dot for a bit. Hi, Dot. Uh, want to play a lot. Play more. I like you too. Okay, so let's take out a toy. I'll play with this with you. That's it, come on, come on. That's it, ah, why'd you gotta kick me? <laughs> you too? Not, not nice manners. Hiya! Go get it. Where, where are you going? <laughs> You're almost there. She just ran the wrong way. Oh, and she took it too. <laughs> That's funny. All right, well thank you. I was trying to play with Dot because she's the one who's been sad. Come on, Dot, come over. Grab the Pokeball, or not. You're very silly today. Okay, back to this then. Ah, what's happening? There we go. Uh, and I'll grab that. Okay, Dot, go get it. You got it, girl. No, why, why? Come back. You're not yourself <laughs> today, are you? All right, well, we'll see if that does anything better. Actually, let's not leave yet. We're gonna start cooking. Yep, I want to cook. Uh, oh, I don't have any berries left. Oh, darn. That stinks. I mean, I've been shaking every tree I come by. No, I just wanna leave. Yep, there we go. Weird. Stinks I didn't have enough there, but at least we get a tiny bit of experience with Dot because we played with her specifically. Okay. Is there anything over here? Yep, there's an item. It is a rare candy. That'll be good. And let's battle you, sir. Witness the results of the training I did together with my Pokemon. All right, so. Going against Black Belt Reese, who has a red belt. Okay. It's over his head. Oh, I guess he has a black belt around his waist. So yeah, we're going against Sock. So we probably don't want to do a fighting type move. It just won't really do much for us. So instead, let's do, uh, let's just do Pyro Ball. Come on. Got it. Boom. And that's a one hit takedown. All I needed to see. Do you have anything else beyond that? Ooh, a level up for Smokey. And throw. Uh, let's switch Pokemon. What do I have that's good against fighting type? I gotta double check that, because I always forgot. Because I, uh, is dark? Dark is not. Dark is weak against fighting. But flying is good, that's what it was. So let's swap to Shawnee. Because I'm pretty sure this will also be a throw. Usually these kind of like karate masters have fighting Pokemon. Yep, oh yeah, it's this guy. All right then. So we will do, we'll do Drill Pack because that should do enough damage, maybe even one hit you. Ah, oh, almost. They're doing Revenge. That does some good damage. 
Gotta be careful of all that. Oh, the hell took you out. Okay, great. And there we go. We defeated ba Black Belt Reese. Hi, yeah, I lost. Looks like I'll need some more training. All right, we'll keep training and you'll get there. If I give it everything I got, then maybe I'll be able to beat the champion, maybe. All right, you might have to make your team a little bit bigger. So this is where we were before. I remember the other side now. So yeah, it does seem like there's sort of two main paths, which makes this very difficult to explore at all, but I will do everything I can. First with battling you, aim for your opponent's weak spots and then strike. That's all there is to it. Okay. Black Belt Carter. So there's a lot of like intense karate masters around here. Grap locked. Oh, we just fought you before. I really should have put Shawnee out in front. So at the least what I could try to do is use Pyro Ball. Yes, look at that. Yeah, you're not level 50, so you're not as scary. I know it's a critical. Good. And look at that, we got a lot of experience. And that was it, that's all you had. To use four moves, that's all it should take. I didn't even use, I used one move. What are you talking about? I don't know. Um, can I talk to you? I heard that a long time ago there was a great detective in Gower who used a martial art called Baritsu. Huh, never heard of it. So this is like one end of everything. Can I talk to you two? What do you think about my secret beach? It's small, it's a small mysterious paradise located on a very cool ocean. You've come all the way here, so I'll give you a present. TM45, dive. Oh, cool. Uh, diving on the first turn, the user floats up and attacks on the next turn. The move dive, your Pokemon won't be hit by attacks while it's diving in the water. That's right, it may be similar to my beach, which is so cold that nobody visits. Oh, well, what about this? This guy visited. It certainly is a beach, but it's just too cold. I like your beach. All right, three dive balls as well. That's nice. So let's get back out there and see what else we might be able to find. Another one of you. So I could go down here, and that seems to lead to a whole host of things, which is fine. But I also want to sort of check out the same thing on this side. What in the world is that? Oh, it looks creepy. You're like a hand face. Barbicle, you are the evolution of the two arms coming out of the barnacle, yeah. Now it's barnacle goes to barbicle. <laughs> Very funny. Okay, so let's just try a double kick. Hopefully it won't take you out, because we are 10 levels above you, I didn't think about that. Okay, it doesn't, but luckily there was um, somebody slowly above that was the same Pokemon, so. There we go. Using Razor Shell. Whoa! Oh, is that look like part water? I didn't even realize. Okay, gotta be careful of that. Oh no, the hail, the hail. Oh, two health. Two health is not good. But you are very low health, hopefully enough that Ultra Ball can catch you. Because if not, we might have to say goodbye to Dot next round. Oh boy. No, come on! Hone Claws, okay, but the, the hail is still gonna get us here. And let's Dot's able to pull through. Oh, 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 I'm so sorry, Dot. I feel like Dot has fainted way more than any of my other Pokemon. It just, it's just this unfortunate situation. So we'll just switch to Smokey or something. And once again, we'll try to catch you. Hmm. Will that be enough? Oh, it will, it just took two attempts. It just had to wait for Dot to be fainted. He just wanted to be even with that, I guess. Okay, so there's that done. Shawnee is almost level 49. Can't wait till everybody's over level 50. So there is a bar Barbarical, collective Pokemon. Here's like multiple in one. It's a rock water. Having an eye on each palm allows it to keep watch in all directions. In a pinch, it, its limbs start to act on their own to ensure the enemy's defeat. Wow, very intense. Well, we're not gonna use you or nickname you, but I'm glad to have gotten you in my collection. And let's read the sign. What does it say? Spike Myth, that's it. I mean, there's more info on the sign than just that, but I guess it's not gonna tell me. Let's battle you. Swimming trains muscles, muscles launch moves. So yeah, we're going against Swimmer Jacob. And he sends out Cloyster. 
That is a nice type. So if we need to, we can switch to Shawnee. All right, uh, so Pokemon, Shawnee, try that out. Okay, let's go on Shawnee, I know you can do it. She can use her steel move, because we've already gone against you in the battle against the gym leader last episode. Ouch, <laughs> not good. So let's fight, and actually it's just effective. It's not super effective, weird. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, you do use ice, but maybe you're like ice water, but I don't know. Why would that change much? Okay, okay. If that's the case, we're using drill pack. You have another one of these? Come on, this is ridiculous. Another one? How many times are we gonna hit? Stop, five times? And now we get buffeted by the hell. I I've seen enough ice. So, yeah, this is just as effective, so in terms of damage, it should do more. So let's see if it gets rid of you. I don't think so, because you're using protect. Oh, come on. So this won't actually do any damage. Great. I mean, we'll both get buffeted by the hail. Or actually, no, you didn't. <laughs> Maybe because you're a nice type, probably. Oh, it's good, but not good enough. Supersonic is gonna do what? It's gonna confuse us. Hopefully we can fight through that just for a tiny bit more because this is the only Pokemon this trainer has. So if we could just do this drill pack. Come on. Yes, good job, Shawnee. So proud, so proud. So before we do anything else, before we move on and try to find more Pokemon, find any more trainers, I need to do some, some care to my own Pokemon. To deal with the shock of losing, I'm going to swim far, far away. I don't know how you can handle sw swimming in this water, but I mean, if you can, that's good for you. Just don't get like sick or anything. There are swimming experts who can swim all the way to the Kalos region. That's a really far away away, isn't it? Anyways, go to our bag. And we'll also do a super potion on Shawnee. And another one. And do the same thing with Dot over here. And then with my one last potion, I think I'll give it to Shawnee, just because she's the, the far, she was the farthest away from max health. Okay, so let's read these it's trainer tips. Trainer tips. There are times when you throw a Pokeball to catch a Pokemon, and it shakes just once. The more Pokemon you catch, the more likely the curious phenomenon is to occur. Since it makes it more likely you'll be able to catch your target, it's called a critical catch. Oh, so that's when it shakes a little bit in the air. Okay, I do not want this guy chase, chasing me, but he is. And what's over this way? You found a protector, a protective item of, of some sort. It, it is extremely stiff and heavy. It, it's loved by a certain Pokemon. Weird. Sorchester Bay, here we are. We've made it. I wanted to run into one of these, but it's like impossible to, it's weird. Maybe you can't actually run into them. Whoa, there's a bigger one though. I'd really like to run into them. Oh, I did, I did! Yeah, look at you! You were so cool, it's a Mantine. Okay, so Dot's out here, which might not be the best choice. It's hailing. Let's switch to Jazzy real quick. Because you have to be a water type. Like, you might be water ice, but I'm pretty sure you're just water type. So this should, in theory, do well. You're doing Bubble Beam. That will hurt. Yeah, decent little chunk. And the hail. The hail has been such a challenge here. Admiring the surrounding view. Well, isn't that great? So let's start with a quick nuzzle. See how much damage it does. Whoa, whoa, okay, that's plenty. That is plenty, you're paralyzed now. It may be unable to move. Okay, so it wasn't able to do anything this time. But it is, we'll get buffeted by the hail. Oh, don't take it out, don't take it out. Okay, so we need this to land. We need it to. We'll see if this is one of those critical catches, it wasn't, it didn't wiggle in the air on its way down. But that doesn't mean it can't be a catch. Indeed it is a catch. All right, so Mantine was caught. Super great. And some bonus experience. So let's see what's going on with this one. Mantine's data will be added to the Pokedex. I didn't read the description, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, but hey, that's another one done. If I could catch a smaller one as well, that'd be great, please don't get me. Please don't get me. Thank you. Huh, can I go into this land? I can't. 
So what's down this way? It just keeps going and going, doesn't it? Well, you're a trainer, so I'll battle you all at the berry tree. I'm all rested up, so how about you be my opponent? Okay. It's Swimmer Scarlet. Remoraid. Oh, look at you. I really gotta switch Dot out of this position. <laughs> this is not doing me any favors. Hmm. Even though we do have a t whole 10 level lead on you, I'm not gonna risk it. We're just gonna switch over to Jazzy. Yeah, because we already, I don't know if we've caught this Pokemon, but we've ran into it before we already know it's super effective against it. Okay. Bubble Beam, again. But it's fine. Just gonna hit you with a uh, Spark. Just like that. And there we go. Super effective, you're knocked out. Critical hit too, just to rub it in a little bit more. And, ooh, not bad. Level up for Jazzy, level 52. Level by the hail again, oh, come on. Octillery, okay, so Octillery is a water type, so we should be good with this. Yay, the little red one. Waiting for your directions, well, I got some. Do this. Excellent, and that's a one hit takedown, exactly what I wanted. Down you go. And level up for both Dot and Biggie. Dot is finally level 50. Uh, Biggie wants to learn to move parting shots. So it's the panting. Um, parting shot. With a parting threat, the user lowers the target attack and special attack stats. Then it switches with a party Pokemon. I don't think I need that. I mean, maybe though. Would that be better than like foul play? No. Maybe a Sucker Punch. I never use Hone Claws though. So maybe we'll just put over Hone Claws. If it feels like I need to switch Biggie out anyways, like maybe that'll be the way to do it. All right, so Parting Shot. And we're buffeted by the hail. We're have, gonna have to heal him up. Mantine, so we just won against you. Uh, we know that Jazz is gonna be good against you. Okay, so fight, and let's do another spark. And we have a 12 level advantage on you, so it really should be a one hit takedown, and indeed it is. So, not bad. And Swimmer Skull is defeated. I'm a mermaid, I want to return to the ocean. Okay, what's stopping you? I was looking for berries and let my Pokemon hold, or for my Pokemon to hold. Uh, it's a very tree, do you wanna shake it? Yes. There can't be a squovid in a tree way out here, can there? They find a way. Shake it some more. Oh, that's a lot of berries. One more time. Yes, okay, so. There are, are nine berries on the ground. I'm gonna quit and take what I got here. Awesome. So that's nine berries in total. And like I said before, let's heal Jazzy. Uh, super potion, right there for a buddy. And then one more, excellent. And then also switch him out to the front. He's gonna be needed. And I saw an item over this way. This is a bottle of PP up. Very good to see that. I would have liked to try to get those guys. They're just so difficult to get though. <laughs> oh, oh, I think I did it. Excellent, look at you, a man tyke. So honestly, I might use a quick ball for you guys because I'm worried that you have, might have too little defense that even a nuzzle might take you out in one hit because you just look like the type. Um, especially with a 10 level lead. So we're just gonna quickly do a, where is it? Quick ball right here. I don't have too many of these, but we're just gonna make the most of it now. Come on, come on, can we get ya? Please? Yes, okay, so we got a Mantike, which I'm pretty sure is like the pre-evolution to the Mantine that we caught before. Very nice. So with this one, Mantike's data will be added to the Pokedex. It's a kite Pokemon, water and flying. So it would have been super duper weak to what we had. It, seemed, it swims along with a school of Remoraid and they'll all flight, and they'll all flight, fight together to repel attackers. Oh, that's cute. 
Okay, so another Pokemon for Crutcher. We've been catching quite a few in today's episode, and hopefully we have more to catch soon. Um, so here's like probably the actual exit, and I'll deal with that soon. Yeah, so I've already came in from this way. So really the only thing I need to check, yep, is this little beach right here. Uh, I finished all my warm-ups. Okay, let's battle with everything we've got. So I think I've fully explored everything here. You're challenged by Swimmer Logan. Why is it look like he's sniffing his Pokeball? Wishy-washy. Oh, you're so cute, I'm ready to cry. Poor little thing. I think we've seen you in like Sun and Moon before. Whoa, whoa, watch it. Oh my, wow, yeah, you can combine to be this like really big Pokemon. Well, then we're gonna have to just do Wild Charge to ensure that you get taken out. There we go, no problem. So Wishy Washy is out of here. A little damage by the recoil, but that's fine. So what's next? Whale Lord. Okay, so we'll keep with what we have. And for this one, I think I can just use normal spark. Whoa, wait, no, this is different. Wow, you're even bigger. Okay, so let's just do spark again. And that's still more than enough. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, the water types haven't been too bad so far. And there we go, Swimmer Logan's taken down. I got tired from all the warm ups with Pokemon and I gave it too much. Yeah, the warm ups are supposed to warm you up, not exhaust you. Uh, doing things in moderation is important, but it just doesn't feel satisfying. Well, that's, that's one issue. A normal gem. I guess we've gotten one of those before. Anyways, we are going to uh, just go back this way now and Try to battle you. I'm doing research to see if one day I can swim ever, anywhere with my beloved Toxapex. Toxapex, is that an evolution of the one like little toxic electric Pokemon that we've, we've caught before that we traded off for something else, I think? No, definitely not. Looks nothing like that. Huh. So, let's just try Spark with you, because we have more, we have like a 12 or 13 level difference there, I think. Protected itself. So will this not work? Yeah, okay. That's fine. We'll just do it again. But we do get poison from that. That stinks. And get hurt by the hail. But so do they. So it works out. And the poison. On the very first turn that we get poison, too. Usually that doesn't happen that way. Try again, though. Land the Spark before they can attack. And they're done, finished. So, level up for Tom and level up for Smokey, both 48 and 47. Uh, Smokey wants to learn the move Venom Drench. That sounds cool. So, Venom Drench, opposing Pokemon are drenched in an odd poisonous liquid. This lowers the attack, special attack, and speed stats of the poisoned target. Huh, but it's not better than badly poisoned. I don't know, I guess like that could be better. Like, we could try it. One, two, and ta-da! Okay, Venom Drench it is. Level 47 for Tom, and that's it. Swimmer Layla has been defeated. Is this the limit of water types? No, I can still come up with more, I could. You know, we have uh, Tom and he's just growing every day. Oh, oh, I was trying to talk to you, <laughs> sorry. I wonder if I added a, a fin to a swimsuit, would I be able to swim faster? But Toxapex doesn't really swim all that often. I'm sure it could help though. Uh, let's go ahead and pick this up, if I can. <laughs> it's a max elixir. This medicine can be used to fully restore a PP of all of the moves that have been learned by a Pokemon. Really, that's really nice. So let's see where we are on the town map. Because I think we're almost there. Sort of, kind of. So we'll keep going. What in the world is that? <laughs> it's, a, it's an anchor and a little wheel for a pirate ship. The Delmise. Weird. This is a weird one. So, let's nuzzle for now. Oh, Jazzy's still poisoned, darn, I forgot that that, that, oh wow, that did not do much. But you are paralyzed. We're going to have to switch then. What are you? Are you, you're, you're a water type, but you must be something else too. Uh, hmm, oh, this is not good. We have to switch you really quickly. Either that or try the quick ball now. 
I only have one left though, so I don't think that's worth it. I don't know what's gonna be good against you, but we're gonna try, uh, we're gonna try Biggie. Biggie seems, wait, why not? Why not? What about Shawnee? Why can't we switch Pokemon out right now? What are you talking about? Um, we could try a Netball. Uh, right here, because this it must be like part water type, right? It has seaweed on it. Come on, that like automatically counts it. Come on, please. I can't believe it, that worked! Awesome! Delmize was caught, so we need to know about what your typing is, because that'll be very important for me. Okay, so everybody gained experience. Level 53 for Jazzy. Wowie, this has been a long episode. Delmize's data. Ghost Grass. Really? If you say so, after lowering its anchor, it waits for its prey. It catches large whale lord and drains their life force. That is awful. That is so awful. Poor whale lord. Uh, so let's send you to a box. And what about this one? Have we caught you before? What in the world are you? A bergmite. These might be like more rock types or ground types. I don't know. So let's switch out if I can. Actually. Maybe I should just use my last quick ball. Because I just, I just, my Pokemon aren't doing so well right now. Hopefully I can buy more of these soon. If we could find like a specialty Pokeball shop, that'd be cool. I know when let's go Pikachu and Eevee, they had like a whole mall you could access. Okay, that worked. Gotcha, Bergmite was caught. Because I would buy like all of these. I would just empty my bank account for these because they make it so much easier. Okay, so as you can see, Bergmite State will be added to the Pokedex. It is a ice chunk Pokemon. This Pokemon lives in areas of frigid cold. It secures itself to the back of an Avalug by freezing it its feet in place. Huh. So we'll just send you to a box. Maybe you evolve into Avalug. We, we went against Avalug last episode in the gym battle. I've already gone against you. I was just trying to turn around. This bike sort of turns wide. Sorry, Kolbapas, I'm not interested. Cause you're a fighting type, right? So this isn't gonna help me too much. Uh, we're just gonna run. And we got away safely, good. So I might just switch off of the bike now so I don't accidentally run into things like that. More Klobopuses though. Ooh. Let's go this way, go, 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 go. And we got a scope lens, an item to be held by a Pokemon. It's a lens for scoping out weak points. It boosts the holder's critical hit ratio. So I don't know where we're about to show up to, But it seems like we still have a little bit left to go before we reach the uh, next area. Route 9 and Spike Myth. So you know what? There seems to be some stuff happening here. I think I'm gonna save it for the next episode, whatever that might end up being. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Bike so now you've watched at the end of the you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.